But it's not going to be the prettiest kind of week as we wrap up the month of February, Black History Month. And speaking of, I want to share a little bit more now with my conversation with painter and sculptor Michael Escoffrey, who's on a mission to make as much art as he can and make it meaningful for you. I have ideas in my head that I've had for the past 20, 30 years that I want to express and I don't think I'm ready or I'm capable of telling those stories yet because I've not learned enough about art and life. Life is never long enough for you to create everything you, everything want, to create. you want to create. Michael has been painting every day for 40 years. Proof of that is every drawer in his studio is filled with finished works, prints, or studies. Some of his bigger pieces sell for thousands of dollars, but for Michael, it's really not about the money. I do it because I have to do it. it I don't do it thinking about the money or if they will sell. I'm just living my life's purpose. I have something to say, something that needs to come out, and I have to put it down on the canvas. I see this, I see a mess. You see this palette. You see possibilities. Can anybody be a painter? Anyone can paint. Remember, kids, one of the first things they start doing is drawing yeah. and painting. So art is instinctive, and it can be done. You need to know form, you need to know texture, you need to know movement, and you have to understand color. If you're a painter, that's probably one of your first. It's like the... ABCs. You need to know the ABCs before you can read. But the more I know about color, the more I'll appreciate your interpretation of color. Yes. For me, it's a study. I'm still learning as I go along, learning how to tell stories, use color instead of words. How do you discipline yourself to create? You know, a lot of people, a lot of younger artists I know speak about not having inspiration. I've never had that problem because you don't wait for inspiration, you create inspiration. And by that I mean you start the process, you start working. And as you start working, one painting leads you into another. And that's what I mean about let the painting paint itself. So while I'm working on one painting and struggling and working through it, another idea creeps in for the next painting and I keep going and I just, and that's it. I love that. You don't wait for inspiration. You just start creating, and the inspiration finds you. Uh, Michael, Jamaican-born, works out of Mount Vernon. And coming up this week, we've got the 15th annual uh, Lexus of Manhattan Harlem Fine Art Show. He's going to be participating in that. We have linked that to our website as well. So you, you just learn your basics, the ABCs, your colors, and your form, and you, too. Yeah, when he create. was explaining how easy it is, uh, he hasn't seen like my that. handwriting, he hasn't seen my ability to draw a stick figure, but <laughs> I agree for, with him. Thank you for bringing us that story, John.